Hello team and welcome to today's video where we're going to be taking a look at how to create a dynamically updating circle chart in Excel. As you can see from the chart below, if I change the number in the percentage fill cell to 80%, the chart fill for the green section updates and the percent number in the middle of the chart updates as well. These types of charts can be helpful to visually display data in a way that's easy to interpret for your audience. Let's jump in and see how this is done. To get started, I've entered 75% in the percent fill cell. In the cell below, I'm going to enter the formula equals 1, minus, and then reference the cell above to get the remaining percent. After I press enter, you'll see the remaining percent is input for me. Then you can highlight all of your data, go to the insert tab at the top, and click here to insert a donut chart. To get started, we can remove the chart title. You can click there and press delete, and then we can also delete the legend below. Now I will resize the chart and move it over just a bit. Now we're going to adjust the formatting for our chart. But keep in mind, you have a lot of different options to adjust the formatting so that it best visually represents the data you're looking to present. To begin, I want to change the colors in the chart. And to do so, you can double click the section you want to adjust first. I'll double click the blue section. In the Format Data Point dialog box, I'll click here, select Solid Fill, and leave it at that dark green. We want to also add a border to this section, so I'll change the border to the same dark green, and we'll increase the size of that border to 6.5. Now I'll double click the orange slice and change this to a light gray. To make the sections of the chart a bit thinner, you can go to the series options and increase the donut hole size. We'll increase this one to 85%. Now to insert the percentage in the middle, make sure you have your chart selected. Go to the Insert tab at the top, and we'll click Word Art, and select the first option. Now click inside the formula bar, and enter equals, and reference the cell with the percent fill. Now press Enter, and we have our percentage in our chart. On the Home tab, you can increase the font of the percentage. We can also change the color to match the green, and we can adjust it by moving it closer to the center. The reason you want to make sure your chart is selected before you insert the text for percentage is so that you'll notice if I move this chart around, the percentage stays in place in the center of the chart. Now I'll close out of the Format Chart dialog box, and now let's test out our results. I'll change the percent fill to 65%, and you'll see the chart adjusts. If I change it to 30%, you'll see the chart adjusts as well. As a final tip, if you're presenting this data and you want to hide the data for the remaining percent, you can change it to a white font so that it no longer displays. Team, I hope you enjoyed this tip today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos.